Hey everybody, how's it going? So today's a little bit of a quick one and a different one. I'm going to show you some good skills in uh, exterior rendering on Photoshop. So I'm wondering, have you ever looked through Pinterest or Instagram or something uh, at renders and just wondered what their process was or that's the sort of thing that I want to do for my project? So today I've chosen a render that I was just scrolling through Pinterest and I really liked it. I wanted to try and recreate something like that uh, for one of my own renders. It's not so much of a carbon copy, but just trying to see their sort of processes and how they created that sort of atmosphere and their lighting um, and some of their techniques. I'm kind of happy with the results. It looks really nice. Um, so I'm hoping there's something you can take away from this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And let's get into it. Okay, so I chose this image, uh, this render here, to try and recreate uh, on one of my own renders. And I chose it because I really like the atmosphere that is used. Also, uh, this heavy vegetation I think uh, looks really nice and it's framed the architecture well. Uh, and this lighting that's coming in and hitting uh, the architecture, creating this really bloomy um, effect. So I had a render in mind, in mind uh, to try and recreate this with, which is here. I think that this composition could work really well uh, with this render. So it's just a really quick, basic render. I just put some material uh, on the main bit. This would be hard to just uh, materialize in Photoshop. And I didn't spend long setting up the scene or the lighting or the camera or anything in the render because we're going to do it all in Photoshop. So I'm going to start by just photo bashing in the sky quickly and quickly putting in some vegetation and maybe some star to line just to see if we can start to frame this composition and see and see where it's going to take us really. Alright, for now I quite like the composition of the sky, I think it fits well uh, with the render. Um, what's really important when you're just bashing a lot of photos in, into your render is that each one's uh, lights and darks match up the same, and with their saturation too. This render is super super dark here, which it would be anyway, for the light coming in. But I think I'm just going to try and get this sky a bit more darker and maybe saturated a bit further. If we look at our example render that we're trying to recreate, the clouds are super dark um, and the lightness of the colours, the, the colours are lighter and ours at the moment is really really rich and blue so we're going to saturate them a little bit. Um, so for that I'm going to go down here and click on Hue Saturation and then hold down Alt and then that pins it just to this layer so when we change the saturation lightness it only does it to this layer and not the whole render. Just putting down the saturation a bit. I feel like that's a bit nicer. And we're going to do it for this rear one as well. Okay. 
So we've got this guy in now, it's just like as a base. We're not going to do any more for it because we're just going to change it later probably. We're just going to continue putting in the vegetation and framing, uh, framing this render. And then we'll edit everything after because the more, more and more you put in, things change, your mind might change a little bit. And they all affect each other. So we're going to put everything in now as a start and then putting in the detail and atmosphere. Alright, so just as a start we've laid down uh, some grass. And I'm going to switch back to our example render here and the vegetation here um, looks a lot more dried out. So I'm going to give that a go on the grass that we have and I'm going to try to make it look dried out by putting a hue saturation on it and then up here go colorize now we can change the hue of it uniformly uh, and we're going to change it to like this brown color it's pretty dark but for now we'll keep it dark and we'll make it lighter later um, so I'm going to do the same for this layer so click on it Okay, hue saturation, hold down ALT and you keep it there and click colorize again yeah these are looking really dark in our image so a good way to make sure that you have the lighting, uh, the lightness of each layer correct or as good as you can make them is putting a black and white layer at the top that you can turn on and off. And you, these are super dark, you can tell they are. So we can pull the lightness up until they sort of So they're sort of matching in with the rest of the render. Again, we might we're gonna finish we're gonna tighten this up later, but for now, we'll turn this off and see what that does to it. Well it's brought the greens back, that's for sure. So we'll go back in here. Turn down the saturation of them, colorize it a little different. Now it is starting to look like dry grass, I reckon. And also do the same with this one, maybe just the saturation of this one.
Okay, so the, the vegetation is by no means perfect or anything, but I'm going to stop it here for a second and now just focus on lighting uh, the render. I want to drama size it a bit more, pull the focus into the architecture and give it some depth. So the first thing I think I'm going to do is add some aerial perspective, which is where the, the further things are away, the lighter they are. So I want to give this just behind the render a real mist to sort of blur these lines, hide some mess as well, and then that I'll start building the light up from that. So if we look back at our example render, the lights and darks are, are really contrasted and punchy. So the first step I'm going to take towards achieving an effect like that is set some curves and pull the lights down. Just step back a bit to see what that looks like. So that's looking way more punchy already, especially in the architecture. So I think that's a good start to it. This bit is really, really bright here. But if you look at this bit, it is super bright as well. And I think we're going to create something like this pop over here. So we need to get a more warm glow over here. Um, and I'm going to try and achieve that now with a new layer and then with the paint buffer tool paint it black and then set the blend mode to color dodge and now with the brush tool I'm going to sort out some glow have a really smooth brush and soft and also take the opacity way down to start with. You can see that that's brought some colour into that bloom but it's getting really really bright now. Uh, so I might try that again with a uh, even more vibrant colour. Gonna, it's a bit of trial and error, but I'm going to try and paint in some of the light that would be around here. see it has these little imperfections, these blurred artifacts around and um, that's kind of like what a camera lens might pick up and it's like a, a, like a hazy day. Um, yeah so for those artifacts I'm going to try out uh, a technique with the brush tool. Um, quite a hard brush. I might end up moving these around, but for now, I'll just uh, put one here and see how we go. 
I'm going to add some noise to it. Um, I'm going to put it on screen mode. Turn the opacity way down and actually I'm going to blow it as well. 